Rivero, plus five seconds. Lift off normal P1 Here tracking. Here we have a majestic lift off of LBM 3M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft. P2 tracking. Prajolan or Safalta Poon Uthapan LBM 3M4 rocket. Ka. Joining us right now, ISRO Chairman Mr. Somnath, sir. A successful launch. What are the challenges for the next three or four weeks, sir? Till August 23rd, which is a tentative. You heard sir. already. You heard already what is going to happen further. Yeah. We are going to raise orbit from now to translunar injection condition, <coughs> and that will happen over some four burn sequences, which will be very timed and controlled. And if everything goes well, on 1st of August, we will be leaving, leaving, leaving Earth and going towards Moon. It's called translunar injection. Hmm. After that, it cannot come back. Then it will start a journey towards Moon, and uh, that is the first step. After that, it will be cap it will travel another four days to reach moon. Then it will be captured on the moon by an appropriate firing. If you mm. don't fire that correct time, it will escape moon also. Yes. Yeah. So then uh, we will be reducing orbit in the next three, four burns to bring it up to 100 kilometer. Mm. And everything goes well, then we will be able to land on 30, 23rd or 24th August on the moon. So the other aspect here is a uh, lot of people are curious to know why ISRO has uh, chosen this spot for soft landing, the one that you've tentatively chosen. It, it goes with many things. One, it has a spot where there is still illumination. There are still adjacent zones which are non-illuminated. Okay. So both are there. So if you want to do scientific experiments, you can go to the unilluminated zone and do some mineral studies. Hmm. And an illuminated zone is suitable for solar power generation so that our craft can la live for at least 15 days. Hmm. So this is the interest. So it is not clo close to the pole, but slightly ne near to the pole to give some scientific value. Hmm. So I know you don't want to digress to any other project, but how important is this mission for Gaganyan and other missions? Sir, you spoke about the launch vehicle and the capacity and the kind of features of it that will help you in Gaganyan. See, we are using LVM-3 for uh, all these missions and systematically operating it to reach the Gaganyan goal. Hmm. See, you would have seen the last three launches were successful. Uh, though they were not part of the Gaganyan program, we have inducted, inducted many, many features which are part of the Gaganyan program so as to give edge to that mission. So that one, ultimately, when you go to Gaganyan, we don't have to have an uncertain rocket. Okay. That's Sir, final question. Yeah, on, the shape, on the shape equipment that you put there, uh, people want to know uh, what's the idea behind uh, some equipment on a moon orbit looking at Earth? Because all your other payloads, payloads no, are on the surface of moon. If you yeah. are to measure, study Earth, you can very well study here. You yeah. don't have to go to moon. Yeah. But we are not looking at like that. We are hmm. looking at, suppose somebody looks at another planet. Hmm. What is the type of a global st structure of the uh, radiation that you are receiving? Hmm. From this, can you make a signature? So we are looking at a global signature that can distinguish between a living planet and a non-living planet. Okay. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank, Thank you for sir. speaking. Moon. This familiar object in the night sky has inspired the imagination of astronomers and ordinary people alike. From time immemorial, humans have marveled at the beauty of the moon, used it to count time and navigate the high seas. In modern times, moon, the only natural satellite of the earth, has acquired added importance due to the belief that moon is the key to our understanding of the evolution of the solar system in general and earth in particular. Besides, moon's precious resources and low Perfect. gravity have further endeared it to humans. India, a major space-faring nation, has conducted a detailed exploration of the moon through its Chandrayaan program. The country has sent two robotic spacecraft to orbit the moon and to take a repeated look at its surface. Chandrayaan-1 demonstrated India's ability to reach the surface of the moon at a place and time of its choice. And with it, India became the fourth country to reach the surface of the moon in November 2008. Besides, Chandrayaan-1's conclusive discovery of water on the moon in 2009 was praised as a path-breaking discovery. The follow-on mission Chandrayaan-2 had an orbiter, a lander called Vikram and a rover named Pragyan. In the past four years, the orbiter has repeatedly observed the lunar surface and even today, is working satisfactorily. Now, 3,900 kilograms, Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is being sent to the moon with the objective of making yet another 
focused attempt to slowly land on the lunar surface and to explore it with the help of a rover. Following the spacecraft launched by India's most capable rocket LVM-3, the Chandrayaan-3 lander carrying a rover within it will be carried into an orbit around the moon by the propulsion module. A little later, the lander will separate from that module and will attempt to make a soft landing in the south polar region of the moon. This region is of intense interest as it has many permanently shadowed craters which could contain water ice and precious minerals. Chandrayaan-3 lander has four scientific instruments or payloads of which one will study the moon quakes while the other one studies as to how the surface of the moon allows heat to flow through it. The third one will study the plasma environment near the moon's surface. And the fourth instrument will enable scientists to measure the distance between the Earth and Moon very accurately. The two instruments on the rover help us study the composition of the Moon's surface using X-rays and laser respectively. While the lander and rover will be in direct contact with each other, the propulsion module circling the moon will observe the light coming from Earth, the only planet which we know which is definitely teeming with life. This observation will help in understanding the nature of distant planets circling stars other than the Sun. As Chandrayaan-3 undergoes important tests and gears up for launch, Thousands of ISRO scientists, including those who will launch it, control it and receive the precious scientific information from it using giant dish antennas, are readying themselves for the challenging tasks ahead. In the past, their dedication and skill have enabled India to earn praise from across the world and made it proud. Let us wish them well in this great endeavour called Chandrayaan-3. आपके सामने हैं इस रो के अध्यक्ष श्री एस सोमनाथ अभी अभी आपने देखा एक संक्षिप्त वीडियो जिसमें एनिमेशन की मदद से इस पूरे मिशन की यात्रा को बताया गया है इस मिशन के ऑब्जेक्टिव को समझाया गया चंद्रयान थ्री हैज टू प्रोडिस with destination moon as their mission objective. Chandrayaan-1 launched by PSLV C-11 in October 2008 included lunar orbiter and impactor. During the mission life of around 10 months, Chandrayaan-1 had mapped the minerals on lunar surface, acquired 70,000 images to minus help create 3D atlas of moon and what's more, found water on moon's polar regions. Chandrayaan-2 launched by LVM-3M1 on 22nd of July 2019 consisted of lunar orbiter, lander named Vikram and rover named Pragyan. The orbiter is still providing insightful scientific information through its payloads like spectrometers, synthetic aperture radar and cameras. चंद्रयान थ्री की चंद्रमा की सतह में उतरने के इस मिशन को कुल दस चरणों में पूरा किया जाएगा संक्षेप में यह इस प्रकार है सर्वप्रथम चंद्रयान थ्री को एल बी एम थ्री प्रमोचक रॉकेट द्वारा पृथ्वी की एलिप्टिकल पार्केट ऑर्बिट जो कि 170 सौ सत्तर बाई छत्तीस किलोमीटर की ऑर्बिट है उसमें प्रमोचित किया जाएगा वहां से चंद्रयान में मैन्यूवर कर पृथ्वी की गुरुत्वाकर्षण की सहायता से चंद्रयान की गति को वृद्धि की जाएगी फिर चंद्रयान पृथ्वी की कक्षा से निकलकर चंद्रमा की कक्षा में जाएगा चंद्रमा की कक्षा में जाते ही उसमें फिर से मैन्यूवर कर चंद्रमा की 100 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार कक्षा में स्थापित किया जाएगा फिर सही समय आने पर लैंडर मॉड्यूल को प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल से पृथक कर दिया जाएगा 
यह आप अपनी स्क्रीन पर देख पा रहे हैं यह है प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल का मुख्य उद्देश्य है लैंडर तथा रोवर को पृथ्वी की कक्षा से चंद्रमा की कक्षा में जो कि 100 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार कक्षा होगी उसमें उचित अभिवृत्ति में लैंडर मॉड्यूल को अपने से पृथक कर चंद्रमा की सतह पर भेजना है ऐसा करने के लिए इसमें एम एम एच और मॉन का प्रयोग कर 440 न्यूटन के थ्रस्टर्स वाले इंजन लगे हुए हैं इसमें आवश्यक संचार सुविधाएं भी उपलब्ध है Speaking about the major milestones in the journey of Chandrayaan 3 to the moon, the spacecraft consists of propulsion module, lander, and rover. Lander is planned to touch down at south pole of moon. The major ten phases of the mission are: the first phase, called the Earth-centric phase, comprises of pre-launch, launch, ascent, and earthbound maneuver. While the second phase is the lunar transfer phase as the name suggests the Chandrayaan spacecraft moves closer to the moon. Next fa eight phases are in the moon orbit. The third being the lunar orbit insertion followed by the moon bound maneuvers phase which mark the fourth power. phase. And next is it is now that the propulsion module separates from the lunar Minus module. 6 minutes when 100 by 100 circular orbit of the moon is achieved the chandrayaan 3 in its sixth phase carries out deep boost external power from withdrawn 100 kilometers to 100 by 30 kilometers orbit followed by the pre landing phase as seventh phase and then the most awaited Light landing phase takes place 